grandmothers say that because of this intense imbalance of yin and yang, everybody suffers. And they say that woman has become deprived of her own essence because women are primarily yin. And men have uh, lost their way because they don't have the support of yin from the women in their life. They don't have the support of yin from the planet because the planet itself has been desecrated so much. And, and so they are teetering on the brink of collapse. The grandmothers say when uh, women don't feel their own essence, when they don't feel the energy of yin within themselves, they feel uh, helpless and weak, uh, like there's nothing they can do, and hopeless. Oh well, and you'll hear women say this, it's a man's world. What can I do? I'm just a woman, just a woman, as if. And and men, conversely, feel empty, and they're so empty, it makes them crazy. They're looking for something to fill this hole, something fill this hole. And they go, they go out into the world grabbing and p raping, pillaging, you know, trying to fill this hole. And the grandmothers say, this imbalance that's on all over the earth now isn't anybody's fault. Because at first, when I went to them, I was convinced it was men's fault. Those suckers screwed up and we are the victims of it. And the grandmothers would laugh because they said, no, it's not that. The, the energies are out of balance and the energies have to be restored into balance. And when that happens, then men will live in support of life. They will be great support to women and to children, to everyone. And, and women will take their proper place. And again, they say, at this time of crisis, women must lead. It can be no other way. They also talk about the energy of yin, although it has become very, very depleted and very weakened uh, and almost an unknown quantity. We don't ever talk about God the Mother. We don't know what that is. But um, the grandmothers say still, in spite of all this patriarchy and the attempts to snuff out the power of yin, the, the energy of yin has never, never died. It's gone dormant. And so when we when we pass on, the grandmothers first gave me their empowerment into the energy of yin, which made me feel complete and wonderful, uh, complete in a way I'd never felt before. And then they told me, pass this on. So now for many years, there are groups all over the world, and we're all passing on the empowerment to women and um, the cloak of comfort, which brings a man into balance to men. But what they said is, the energy of yin has never gone out in you. It exists as a, as a very small spark within you. And the empowerment blows that spark into full flame. And they say, you will begin to bloom then in beauty power, in power beauty, which is your nature. You will bloom as the flower that you've always been and always will be. I love that.